This week on Buck Commander. Every year, Tombo tries to find an early season place to hunt. Thank God he found it close to his house. He's down in Florida. He'll wear his welcome out there like he always does. I got my good friend, Willie Mago, in from Peru. So Willie Mago has never hunted before in his life. He's only got one evening to hunt, so the clock is ticking. Straight out of Peru. And I could not pass up playing a little joke. I even got George! People ask me about ladybugs. What is a ladybug? It's kind of like my beauty. We have a beautiful day for racing. And they're off! We have Willie Robertson. Ah. We've got Alan Rose. Down right there. It's getting a little long. Smoked. Here we go! Oh! Ryan Lighterheads. Oh, the helmet's been thrown. Ah! We got Mr. Jason Alley. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited. And I just can't bite it. So yeah, Tombo, he has property in Florida. He has no deer on his property in Florida. So every year Tombo's looking for somewhere to go do an early season hunt. And usually he comes up to our places in Tennessee or somewhere he tries to weasel his way in. Early season, we're in Northwest Florida. We're currently standing at my cabin, but we all know I'm not hunting my place. But I do have a buddy about 20 minutes from here that uh, actually takes the time and do things right and plants acres and acres of food plots. So it looks like he finally found one in Florida. Thank God he found it close to his house. So he basically steals every deer within 15 miles of his place and they all just hang out on his property because he never shoots them. He just likes to watch them grow. Well, hopefully we're gonna stop that today for one of them. Knowing Tombo the way I do, I think there's a 100% chance he will wear out his welcome within the week. I'm going short sleeve shirt today. I thought about wearing shorts. Cause it's gonna be ridiculous hot. I may not even put face paint on. I've been going to the Eubanks farm for a few years for Camo Dreams. This year, I got an invite from Bennett. My turn to hunt. The only issue I have is that he sends his daughter Natalie to babysit me. But to be fair, I'd send a babysitter too. I've got this old buck that comes in the range, but I just can't seem to get a shot. He's behind the window, behind Jordan's camera. It, it just doesn't seem to work out. Crap, he's about to loosen, loosen the window. There we go, playing the game. And to add insult to injury, a coyote comes up in the back of the field. They gone. Where's the gun? Well. Finally, after a few minutes, deer start trickling back in. Here comes our boy. crushed a turkey. <laughs> yeah, baby. 
Yes. Playing chess with these daggum deer, man. I don't think hunting Florida deer can be fun or frustrating. We just definitely debunk that. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh yeah, crushed him. Oh, Nat, this deer is cool. What a great deer. So like I said, we're in, we're in Alpha, Florida. It's about this big. But the cool thing about it is it's big enough to have a farm like this where Bennett and Natalie and Benjamin, they, they care enough about the deer to treat them right. They don't pressure them a whole lot, but they feed the crap out of them. And that's, that's why you can get good stuff like this, man. This deer, this ain't no little deer. Bennett's opened up his place for the last four or five years probably to camo dreams. You know, they're so selfless and they let Derek and, and I come out and hang out and, and uh, watch kids fulfill dreams, you know, killing deer. And Can't thank them enough. They're just unselfish people. What a great deer. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I you tired of playing bow and Bow up. It's been 10 years. This year, Grant and I were invited to the Gamo Squirrel Master Classic in Alabama. Honestly, I've never really shot squirrels except for in the backyard. This was a whole different ball game. I've always likened squirrels to that of a tree rat. And anytime there's rodents present, I want to eradicate them. Well, you better have some snake chaps, what I'm telling everybody, so. Uh, well, I, got, so I got my I'm snake boots. I'm trying to find me some boots that'll go into my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't had any luck yet. Need some so. Kevlar chest waders? All right, folks, welcome to the Squirrel Master Classic, the greatest small game event in the world. Come on up here, Tom Beaumont. Oh, God. Can you read? <laughs> Are you the same one? I don't know. Right here. You just tell me. I'll work with you. Oh. Youth name is Shelby Moore. Dog handler. Thanks. Butch Martin. And the dog is Mo. Mo. Come on up here. Like Mo Squirrels? Give me some Mo. Is it Mo Squirrels? Yeah, Mo Squirrels. Oh. I'm good to go. Hey, that's good luck right there. That is good luck when the when the uh, the squirrel dog pees on your tire, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, right Let's go with that one. Do it. Yes! So they got these awesome dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs they are, but they're like a foot off the ground, and they are vicious. Once some squirrels hit the ground, it's over with. It's, I mean, Tasmanian devils. I'll be honest, squirrel hunting is way faster paced than I anticipated. We're running around, sprinting, diving, dodging, chasing the dogs, trying to catch up with these fast little critters. Listen, I'm not training for spring training again. All the running around we're doing agility is key, which plays right into my strengths. He's, hit, he's going uh, prone. <laughs> Agility is key. 20 feet up. Get him. Stomp him. He went in the hole too. This is not easy shooting. You're sending one pellet 35 yards up in a, up up in a tree at a little moving rodent. Combo, that's a squirrel scrape, huh? Fox squirrel. It's got to be a fox squirrel. Here don't scrape this time of year. They do in the south. That's a squirrel scrape, huh? No. Buffalo. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> All right. Feeling really good about our chances of winning this competition. And not because of me and Tombo, but because of Shelby, our 4 8 shooter over here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Look that, 16. We've bagged 16 squirrels, so I actually feel like we have a legitimate shot to win this thing. All right, here's the champion right here, Buck Master, back in the winter circle after four years. And as it turns out, we're only about 30 squirrels shy of winning. Everybody asks about my beauty. Kind of like everybody asks me, when's it going to rain? I keep asking, when's it going to stop raining? Hmm. Well, we're in the stand. I got my good friend, Willie Mago, in from Peru. Willie's one of our local leaders who works with uh, the Peruvian people. That's where he's from. And um, we're building houses for, uh, for kids who are coming out of sex trafficking. He is uh, with Jordan Slummet right now. And uh, he has never deer hunted. So we brought him to America, put him with a stand with a crossbow. Uh, and he's a pop star. Willie Mago and I are basically just alike. I mean, if I were like way tanner, in shape, and could sing in Spanish. Pretty similar. I always wanted to hunt, a uh, deer hunt. And so I mentioned that to Willie. I was like, that's fun, what you do? And I will, you know. And so he said, I'll, I'll take you to hunt. I'll take you hunt. So I go, like, okay, let's do it. So here I am. We'll see if we can make it happen. So Willie's hunting in um, cut off blue jeans. I believe they're called jorts. So uh, I did get my camo shirt. And, uh, but if he pulls this off, it'll be spectacular. Straight out of Peru. It is hot, 90 degrees. My expectations are zero. We're just looking. Move stands. I'm looking for this nine pointer. We're not gonna see him. That's deer hunting. It's like they know we're here. No matter how early you come out, they're always here. You know what does in this blind with us? Ladybugs. People ask me about ladybugs. What is a ladybug? It's kind of like my beauty. It's a lady and a bug. My Buick's a, a Bu and Ick. Put them together, it's Buick. Hmm.
of exercise. I don't breathe. <laughs> it's adrenaline. It's that called was... buck fever. That's what we call buck fever. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> <clears throat> nice shot, dude. I'm not shaking. <laughs> nice job, dude. That's awesome, brother. Cool. Man, it's huge. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> well, it <laughs> feels awesome. It feels like nothing I felt before. Uh, it's a Louisiana eight pointer. So proud of myself. <laughs> so thankful to Willie. Thank you, man. So happy. And feels awesome. Like I'm saying, I, I haven't felt like this. I'm like, I don't know, never. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love it. I, I don't have, I have no words. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy about this. The coolest thing is that he did it in George. Look at that, Willote. So in Spanish, he would be Willito, which means Little Willie. And I would be Willote, which is massive bearded hunter Willie. Thank you, Bacumander. Matt and I went to Peru. We hung out with Willie Mago, who's here hunting. Yeah. So, he's darker complected than this Willie. Right, he's dark Willie. Dark Willie. Well, there was no way I was gonna let Willie come to America. He knows that we're in the hunting business. So we don't wanna like say, no, we couldn't. Yeah, we he's gonna come back without a deer. I'm pretty confident of that. But Matt, I've lived by this rule. Never let a guy in jorts out hunt you. <laughs> That's, I mean, I don't care who you are. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> Willie Maga. Dude, that is an awesome deer. That is the perfect. Did I just get out hunted by a guy wearing jorts? You haven't shot anything? Well. Okay, man. Um, Let me run this show. We got yours. <laughs> we got yours. Did it. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. Dude. That's awesome. The dark Willie outdoes the pale Willie. Man, I, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really I'm, happy. That's awesome, man. I just want to hear just the chorus of your celebratory song. <coughs> that is awesome. <laughs> you really love it to do it? Two, one, hit it. Whoa, oh, guía mi vida y guía mi oración, guía mi solo en tu Despacito. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> We're going to put this in my truck, Benny. Yeah. I think it'll fit. I was so happy for Willie to come to the United States and get his first buck ever. And I could not pass up playing a little joke. You think we can get him in here? Oh, uh, you do? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna let George come in here and not get him? <laughs> I even got George! George, you didn't think I'd put this in here. <laughs> I thought we were done. Ah, oh, George! You know I always got love. <laughs> We heard that shooting. <laughs> I told you, I would not be out hunted by a guy wearing jean shorts, or jorts. I don't know what they call them in Peru. Well, Buck Commander's on the board, so we um, <coughs> got a good one. We'll go ahead and check him out. But you know I wasn't coming back empty-handed. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, boys, got some good deer here. Um, me and Willie Mago's hunting, so we're gonna go see what Willie happened. I'm sure there's a story. We shall see whether they bring back a buck or whether they uh, didn't shoot or hopefully they got something. But um, got some good, solid Louisiana deer right here. So a pretty solid evening here in Louisiana. Two for two. Two willies, two bucks. How about <laughs> this, huh? Just rolling in. The double willies, double up. 
That was awesome. Did you think I have one? Is that good? <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, man. We got all flavors of Willie that just smoked deer. Yeah, there's dead deer we got everywhere. Chocolate Willie, we got vanilla Willie. <laughs> chocolate Willie. Congratulations. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you for the opportunity. That is good. two studs. <laughs> two studs. Oh, shoot. So it's been a real privilege to uh, share this moment with Willie Mago. This guy has dedicated his whole life to helping people, but I wasn't going to let him outdo me. <laughs>